guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Andrea. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the items I picked up from Bath & Body Works Body Care Day. If you are a returning subscriber, I wanna say welcome back. If you are a new viewer, welcome in. Consider joining the family by subscribing to the channel, turning on your notification bell so that you are notified whenever I do upload a video, as well as thumbs up in this one, letting me know that you like my content. All right, so I went into Bath & Body Works, really did not need anything from Body Care Day, absolutely nothing. But when I was online and I read that they were releasing like a summer scent and it was called Meet Me in Miami, and I ended up getting not only the fine fragrance mist, but I also picked up the body cream and the body wash. They didn't have the body wash, like the creamy one. They only had this one, which, you know, I, I'm okay with, but I normally get the other um, body wash, which is the thicker consistency. It's in a tube like this one. So this has Breezy Palm Trees, Cabana Coladas, Suntan Days. Bath & Body Works described this fragrance as book a trip to Miami with a fragrance that whisks you away to poolside cabanas and vibrant days in the Florida sun. Listen. This fragrance is so pretty. When you first spray it, it opens up and reminds me of Hibiscus Paradise. That was one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. Um, I hope they bring that back during SAS. This is so pretty. Like it just goes from that fruity, floral, hibiscus type smell. I smell pineapple. It smells milky. I smell so many different things inside of this fragrance that's just not listed. Like I smell banana leaves, something really, really sweet. And when it completely dries down, that's where you kind of get that suntan type lotion smell from, but not too heavy. It's really sweet. This is just pretty. Like. It's pretty like the packaging. The packaging on this product really describes the, the content. It is just so pretty. And the way that Bath & Body Works describes it on the back of the bottle is really what you get. You get a cozy, beachy day in Miami, just in basking in the sun, sipping on a uh, pina colada by the poolside. You know, you got the flower in your hair. It is just that beachy scent. It is so pretty. Um, it does not remind me of anything else that I have from Bath & Body Works that has that beachy vibe, like um, at the beach. It does remind me of that one. I, re I don't really like that. Um, it does not remind me of Coco Par I think it's called Coco Paradise. It don't remind me of that either. This one stands on its own. It is just so pretty. And I'm so glad to have this one in my collection. And it's called Meet Me in Miami. So the next thing I picked up from Bath & Body Works um, Body Care Day was um, Chasing Fireflies 24 Hour of Moisture Whip Body Butter. Um, I love this fragrance. It does not need any kind of introduction. Um, that is the body butter there. And you know, it's often or it's not often that Bath & Body Works put the body butter included in like their body care sales. So whenever they do, I try to pick up some. And this was one of the ones that I wanted to get Chasing Fireflies, we know it had the, the uh, internet in a choco when it first released this past summer. Some people got it smelled like Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Some people got it smelled like um, YSL Libre. You know, it was just all over the board with the, the scent profile and what people felt it smelled like. But it pairs well with a lot of fragrances. The notes in this one is Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, and Illuminated Woods. Uh, and it smells really good. It's, it's, it's really delectable. It's a pretty scent. I mean, you can get that, like that, that pear note just a little bit. Um, it is kind of woodsy. Uh, and that illuminating part, it's like I can, like you can smell something that's, that's fiery, like, um, like fireflies. <laughs> Yeah, I, and I can see that where they got the name from. But this is pretty. It um, doesn't really need an introduction, but I did pick up uh, Chasing Fireflies, the whipped oh, body I butter. I picked up another body butter, which is Into the Night. This is one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. This fragrance pairs well with any rose fragrance, any um, peony fragrance, um, like, you know, that note. It just pairs well with, with anything that's rose forward. Um, one thing I will say about this one, I didn't realize it was a, a glotion. Um, you know, I was sampling it in store and I was like, why am I sparkling? And 
it's a glotion, which, you know, it'll be okay. I haven't used it yet, so I'm hoping that they don't transfer because this is my first experience with the glotion. Um, but I, I love the scent so much, and I always wanted the um, the body butter, so I'm okay with the glitter in it. But the fragrance notes on this one is um, Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely sexy. It's grown up. It's it's everything. It is everything. Y'all, I done put the thing on my nose. <laughs> um it is absolutely everything it is so pretty like one thing that i pair this with all the time and which is my signature scent is my louis vuitton trap revs when i tell you this goes well with that it does and also when i tell y'all this is my favorite scent i have have it in my car i have it in plug-ins and i also have it candles this is just, it's, it's such a luxurious scent. Like, it's like you're sitting in some kind of boutique somewhere or something, you know, and it's just so soft and sensual and bossed up, you know, boss lady-like scent. It's just pretty. Like, it's something that, oh, it just smells so good. Mm. It's not as heavy as, like, the lotion and the spray and the body wash, but it still smells good. So, that's um, Into the Night. The body All right, butter. so another one I picked it from the body care seal, which is another one of my um, my favorite scents, is, is You're the One. Of course, the packaging has changed on this one. And the notes for this is white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. If you guys can't tell, like rose is one of my favorite scents. It's forever been, and I really didn't notice it until I started reading off the notes in my fragrances. I'm like, girl, you like rose. Um, but yeah, but they did change the packaging on it. And I will say this, um, it's not as strong as it was before. You still get the strawberry and the, like the initial spray and then the rose pops through. Uh, and then it kind of settles down to a mixture of strawberry rose for me. I'm so happy to have it in my collection though, because you know, I missed it. And when I ran out, I was like, oh my gosh, cause I had backup bottles of it. But now, you know, I only bought one because it's not as strong as it as it used to be. Um, but I am glad to have it back in my collection because it, it is nostalgic for me. Not only did I get the fine fragrance mist, I also picked up the body wash as well as the lotion. That's You're the One by Bath & Body Works. Um, body care day. I more so kind of swapped some things out. I had some a fragrance that did not work with me, like the Christmas, Candy Apple Christmas or something. Uh, it made me sneeze real bad for some reason. So I took that one back and I was able to swap it out because I had my receipt. Uh, and I picked up an OG butterfly. This is so pretty. Like, I love this. The packaging is pretty. The scent inside the bottle is pretty. The notes in this one is raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. This is such a spring scent. <laughs> That's just so pretty. It's just so gorgeous. Like it smells like a butterfly would look. <laughs> it's sweet. It's airy. It's kind of watery. Um, you know, I get a little bit of vanilla, but it's just a sweet feminine fragrance. Um, it smells purple. And it's one of the fragrances that I've had before. So it's not anything that's new to me. But um, I did pick up, you know, the fine fragrance mist. I also swapped out for, again, a body lotion and then the moisturizing body wash. All right, and the last item or fragrance that I picked up from Body Care Day, um, I wasn't privy to having like the original, so I don't know if it's like changed in formulation or anything, but I did pick up Fairy Tale. Um, when Fairy Tale released, this was another one that had the internet in a choco. This is pretty. And I can see the reason why it had the internet in a chokehold. It's just so perfume quality like. It reminds me like uh, you're the one is another one that's perfume quality like to me. Mm, this smells so good. The notes in this one is pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, warm amber. Also Bath & Body Works has a note on the back. I never noticed these. I wonder if it's on all of them. Let's see. So it's not on this one. 
Let me see if it's on this. Okay, it's not on that one. So maybe it's on a certain collection. I don't know. But the um, the remark on the back on this one says, um, wander into the enchanted forest where snowflakes sparkle, the trees glisten with frost, and the jewel-toned sky brightens the night. This is such a high quality fine fragrance mist. Like I will put this one against a couple actual fragrances, perfumes that I have in my collection. Like this, oop, like this smells so good. <laughs> oh, this smells good. Um, and I know that a lot of people had, you know, had the original, but I was never privy to getting the original. So of course I can say that this one smells good. If it smells anything like the original, I can see why it was so hyped up when it did come out initially. It's just one that I wasn't drawn to, you know, and you know, over time your nose, it does change. So my nose has changed and you know, I'm drawing more close to fragrances that um, have like amber in them. So, but this is pretty. I'm so glad to finally have Theratil in my collection and I do, you know, get the hype around it. It's gorgeous, like it really is. So not only did I get the five fragrance mist, I picked up again, the body wash and the body cream. Fairy Tales was the last item I did pick up from Bath and Body Works Body Care Day. So you guys, I made it to the end of my video and I thank you for joining me and coming this far. While you're here, if you have not subscribed, consider joining the family. Go ahead and clicking on the subscribe button as well as that notification bell and turning it on, you know, so that you notify whenever I do upload a video. Uh, did you participate in Body Care Day? If you did, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you purchased. And if you did not, leave me a comment anyway. What's your favorite body care item from Bath & Body Works? And until next time, bye.